All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Akakudash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to you brothers teaching this word in truth and sincerity. I wanted to get into this quick video real quick. I'm in the book of Psalms uh, 4. I start at verse 2 and read verse 3, and then I wanted to uh, bring out a few more scriptures, kind of tying around. You know, tying into the name of the Lord, you know, the name of the Lord is very important. We pray to the Lord. Our, our forefathers, King David, he prayed to the Lord and he um, told us to call upon the name of the Lord in the time of trouble. Now, we're coming into the time of trouble. All right. And um, therefore, the name of the Lord is going to be magnified. And wait till you how come and, and reveal himself. It's going to put all of this uh, controversy of the name of the Lord, who to pray to, the color of the Lord, and all of it to, to rest. All right. He's going to put it to rest because the truth is going to be right there in front of you. But I read the song, Psalm 4 and 2. It says, O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and, and seek after leasing? Salah. Now, what, look. Looked into the word um, leasing. All right. When you go into that word leasing, that's the Hebrew word kazab. Kazab. And when you go into it, the definition is it says a lie, untruth, falsehood, deceptive thing. All right. Falsehood, literally untruth or figuratively idle, deceitful, false. Leasing, liar, lie, lying. All right. And you have a lot of that going on now in the society. There's a controversy because um, pursuing to uh, what is that? Hosea. Hosea 4. I'm going to come back real quick. There's no truth in the land. Right. There's no truth. There's no mercy in the land. It's just pure wickedness. All right. This is uh, Hosea 4 and 1. It says, uh, Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Most High in the land. All right? And the co one of the controversies that stems around is the name of the Lord, which is written in the scriptures, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and men run into it and are safe. All right. So that's why you have to have the terrors of the Lord to come upon this place, because the Lord's name has to be magnified. All right. All the controversy around the name of the Lord, in particular in the cosmos of Israel. All right. It has to be the Heavenly Father. He has to show forth himself to be who he is. I am or he is. All right. Psalms four and three, it says. But know that the Lord have set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. All right. And that goes for the righteous. The Lord is going to hear the righteous when they call unto the Lord. All right. Let's go into the book of Psalm 50. Psalm 50 and... Uh, Where am I at in Psalms 50? Yeah, this is, uh, I'll start at 14, read 15. This is Psalms 50 and 14. It says, Offer unto the Most High thanksgiving, thanksgiving, and pay thy vows unto the Most High. In order to offer the Most High thanksgiving, all right, you got, you have to, you have you, you you have to call upon his name. All right. Offer unto the most high Yahweh thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the most high and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. All right. So when the Lord d delivers all right, his men, they're going to glorify him. All right. 
So it says, and call upon me in the day of trouble, or which the day of trouble is coming. All right. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. That's why we got to go to uh, the book of uh, Sirach, the 17th chapter. Go to the book of Sirach, the seventeenth chapter. Book of Sirach, the seventeenth chapter. And it says, let's see. Yeah, this is Sirach 17 and 10. Sirach 17 and 10 says, And the elect shall praise his holy name. All right? And the elect shall praise his holy name. So when, when, so when, 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 um, the men of the Lord, all right, call upon the Lord in the time of trouble, all right, and the Lord deliver them out of that trouble. All right, it says the elect shall praise his holy name. Okay, besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for inheritance. He made an everlasting covenant with them and showed them his judgments. All right, so the Lord's going to show show us his judgments. All right, because that's that's for the elect to see. All right, the elect is going to see. The end of this world in the world to come and the most high is going to bless their eyes to see that being manifest right before their face to see how was shy. All right. And have the hope of, of his mercy. All right. Call upon his son. Yahweh shy. Call upon the heavenly father because you have to go through Yahweh shy, who is the mediator. All right. To get to the father. All right. Bring that out real quick. Let's read on. Um, just for the sake of uh let's get Proverbs eighteen and ten. It says the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous runneth into it and it is safe. Okay? So the Lord is our strong tower. The name of the Lord is our strong tower. All right. Let's, let's uh, look at. In thy name, O Lord, we have waited upon thee. So when you go to the name of the Lord and you just type in the name of the Lord. There's over 248. It's about 248 hits. Yeah, and through the course of the, the Bible, men have spoke, spoken in the name of the Lord. All right. Men have glorified the name of the Lord. This is Psalm 20 and 5. It reads, we will rejoice in thy salvation and in the name of the Lord, our power, we will set up our banners. The, the, the Lord fulfill all thy petitions. All right. I'll read it again. It says, we will rejoice in the in thy salvation and in 
the name of our power, our God, Yahweh. We will set up our banner, our banners. What is a banner? According to the blue letter, according to the Hebrew. Dagal. It says to look, behold, look at. It says conspicuous to carry a banner or standard. Set up a banner or standard. Supply with banner, banners, bannered. I.e. raise a flag. All right, which our banner is this knowledge. All right. It says we will rejoice in thy salvation and in the name of the Lord our power will we set up our banners. All right. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. And we're calling for the Lord to do what he said he's going to do in the scriptures. Now know I that the Lord saveth his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Oh, this is a good, this is a good chapter right here. It says some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord, our power. So you have people that, you know, individuals, they trust in the might of their military. They trust in the, the power of, of, of the might of this world. But it says, but we will remember the name of our Lord, our power, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai. Remember, Yahweh, he's the one that took out Pharaoh in the Red Sea. He took out a mighty army that was coming to destroy the children of Israel as they were leaving the land of Egypt. All right. It says they are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. So that's the same power that, you know, we're, we're looking for. That's the spirit that came out. This is save, Lord. Let the king hear us when we call. All right. Yeah. Let the Lord hear us when we call. There's some beautiful Psalms that are. Uh, 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 that glorify and and, and um, compel you to call upon the name of the Lord. All right. It's very important. The name of the Lord is, is, is very important by, by far, and especially in these times. And prayer is important, too. You know, you can't never harpen, can't never hark, hearken. I mean, hearken means to hear. But we can't harp on enough when it comes to prayer in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because, wait, let me see, let me get this scripture. Uh, scripture said that the name of the Lord is dreadful among the heathen. Yes, yeah, says, uh, but, but cursed be the deceiver, which hath in his flock a male. This is Malachi 1 and 14. Um, it says, uh, but cursed be the deceiver, which have in his flock a male and voweth and sacrifice, sacrifices unto the Lord, a corrupt thing. For I am a great king, saith the Lord of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. So we, we, we pray to this great king. All right. And his name is dreadful among the heathen. All right. And it's uh, these elites who don't want the name of Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai, all right, to be glorified. Because when, when Yahweh Bashim El Shai give his son, you know, the green light, that the name of Yahweh can be glorified through the, through the, acts, of the acts of his son, Yahweh Shai, by taking down, taking the crown. Out of all of these, uh, uh, taking down these governments, all right. One, it's going to show that the Heavenly Father is dreadful, all right. Two, that's that's it for the rulership of the elite, you know, these elite international bankers. So they'll 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 throw some shekels, all right, and give it to a, a Israelite group to deceive and you know, try to throw off the name of the Lord, okay. They know the name of the Lord, they have the records, all right. And they search out everything. Speaking of the elites of the Esau Edom, you know, so-called white man. But uh, I just wanted to, you know, do that video, um, do this video. Uh, the name of the Lord, the name of Yahweh by Shimon El Shai was on my mind, you know, to throw my two cents in, you know, regarding the name of the Lord.
and what he's going to bring, like like the description of Psalms 20. I mean, some people trust in chariots, their military, they trust in their own might. But look, man, in the coming days, it's going to be shown, you know, the benefits of praying and calling upon Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai. All right, so with that, I give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakakwadash, call hello, Yahweh Bashim El Shah, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, brothers, pushing this word in truth and sincerity. And uh, until the next video, Shalom.